Hello my fellow gamers, I'm Puggy Gaming and welcome back once again to Red Dead Redemption 2. Yeah, we are back, about to do our next story mission and if you can see on the map, we are about to do this one with Hosea. So if we just bring the map up to show you all the missions that we have available, obviously we've got the one here at camp which we will be doing tomorrow, or should I say in tomorrow's episode. This is the one we are going to be doing with Hosea, the fine joys of tobacco. And what's it saying? Dutch told you to meet up with Hosea and Sean in a brave white manner. Well, they integrate themselves, so I'm still a bit intrigued, but one last time we were here, it was the case of we took the moonshine there to sell, and then she's the lady of the house, obviously the one on the left of the picture, told us, go to Rhodes, give it away free, to get, and then we'll get some more money for it, or something like that. And obviously that was quite intriguing, especially when the Le Lemonars Air Raiders burst into the freaking saloon and really shot up the place. And it's going to be even more interesting the fact that the mission prior, um, over here, what we did with John and Javier, we stole some four-bed horses from the, from the ranch on, or from the stables on this particular manor. And I'm just wondering if that's going to come into question and come into the conversation when we get here. That will be interesting, let's put it that way. So, let us get over here, because I'm definitely interested about it. I'm definitely going to avoid that squirrel just there. But, again, when second time coming down this slot is like, wow, the lighting I still can't get over. Buddy. Okay, I did not hear him, hear what he said then. Are they in the manor or is... I'm not sure. I'll just slow down a moment. Hey fellas, I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. All right, that's enough. Move along now. Now that was actually pretty easy. I wonder what it is they're actually doing down here. Okay, we've got a couple of wagons, but is that anything of interest? Morning. Hey mister. Right, better not run in or anything, but oh, please come in, sir. Whoa. This way, sir. Fine looking A house. Gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Uh, Arthur, welcome. We were just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? <laughs> well, he's surely big, but his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> so these are the boys going mm. to Caliger Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but... One hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you in a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. What is going on? I'm, I'm still wanting to know what is it is we've got to be doing something. Can I drive? Nope. <sighs> right, so we're definitely taking this cart we saw on the right hand side, or hey, this one. Just stop messing around. So where Ready? is it we going? Let's get out of here. You was quiet in there. Took everything I had. That son of hers. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat and pull it clean out of his arse, the smug fucker. Okay. So what she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. We're never gonna get there at this rate. What? Yeah, obviously. Using that back there. The moonshine? Burns faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting, she did. Not I thinking this hell about, oi toy fitting my boot up your hook. No, just snotty old bitch. 
So basically burning tobacco oh, fields. Really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't he? Oh, he was giving his usual flannel. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons. I mean, I'm off for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. They really better be some bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the breakweight still. Trying to sell the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. We just robbed their horses, too. That was you? Jesus. So, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry. We got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they're taking on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery. That's all. Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> all right, then. Ah. He's always one shot. He's just complete and utter gobshite. He just will not shut up. I'm glad they actually mentioned about the freaking horses. I was expect I was literally expecting him to chat about it when we got in there, but obviously not. Might have been easier to do it at night, but unless that's a potential option, what they want us to do, wait till night and then burn the fields down. Whoa! Hold up a second. Are you not worried about them Gray's English? Excuse me? You not worried about them greys? In what sense? Well, they knows you. Yeah, maybe you're right. You know what? Here, I'll go hide in the back. If you can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> hide the wagon. Ah. So we can't exactly see a lot from first person. We're here. Stay out of sight. I'll do the talking. Hey! Hey! Hold it right there! Ah. What you want, boy? I've... I've... There, there was a thing... A, a, a thing... At the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean you no harm. <laughs> I've come from Donegal, in Ireland. You don't say? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they said you'd understand some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies. Uh, sort of business. Uh, uh, before the officials got there, oh, they okay. said. Okay. Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Oh, okay. Have a drink. Sean. Uh, Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> uh, fine bit of country you've got here. I'm not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. Yeah, we ain't sticking to that view. Is that right? Then you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Just over here. Yeah, it's straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I never been a feather to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. A bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear, I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. 
Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half. Just in there. Oh, right, that's. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <clears throat> Quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses there, uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy places they was, Hamish. Real fancy because of All right, we've got to kill this dude. The they can build fanciest places imaginable, eh? <coughs> okay. ah. We can hold up in here till it gets dark. Right, so I was right. You could be off? doing it at night time. You already got these things ready. Okay. Plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellas here. Thankfully, it ain't rained, and that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> how many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was born born in down manor houses. We'll burn quietly. Quiet. There's someone coming on the left. Jesus. Ha. Oh, hey. Well, I, I thought the wagon already arrived. This one didn't. Strange. So, what you got there? Tools, payroll. Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. See you but later. Loads of illicit stuff going on here. Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? I'll take care of this fella. Come on. You douse the fields. I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble. What is he doing? Is he staying there or...? Thought so. Right, we can get across. Come on. All right, next. Mm. 
That's good for you. That was um, just a little bit on the close side. Should be enough for here. We've well, got one more to do after this one. Okay, this looks like it's the biggest field. There we go. Need to be careful now that we don't get spotted. <sighs> Joy's are trying to memorize woody patterns are like where they walk. It's always fun and freaking games. Come on, come on. Finally. I don't see anyone else. Or you can just a quick dousing as well. Why are you doing that? Think she'll go under. I'll give you four dollars. What are you waiting for? Woo Would you look at that? Yeah. Now let's pour those bloody fields to the ground. You ain't leaving. No, I'm here, so I'm staying silent.
these bastards coming from? God only knows. Look out! There's more of them! There goes out right out of here! I want me half, thank you! Bloody ass mental. See, there it is. Maybe they haven't unloaded that gun yet. This is what it's all about. Oh, Arthur. Glad you're having fun. All right, come on, we'll take those horses. We'll let's see if the payroll was actually in there. Hurry up. You strangled to cut the horses for oh. a year. I know that. Good, Morgan. We did good. Right, well, let's go. Yeah, you get them horses, free Come on. Okay, let's get the hell out of here fast. Do right. Jesus Christ, absolutely shit mental. The lighting is still something else. Oh. I can say this horse definitely isn't used to bloody gunfire all sorts. Come on! This is definitely going to be interesting when I go into the road later. You call that a party? That freight weight hag got our money's worth, Arlie. Let's just get out of here first. At least we can take the bandana off. And hopefully we ain't gonna get a bloody bounty for that either. I think we lost them. That we did. Quite a night. Sure. Interesting little fight Dutch has put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Um yeah, I'm gonna sure. I'm gonna accept coming back with you. Jesus Christ, that was Shit ass mental. <laughs> Rather than to be proper stealthy, I just didn't know the vision of some of the enemies. Like, is it worse trying to sneak out so close, but Whoa. That is going to be very, very interesting. Here we are. 
home, sweet home. You let Jose know how we got on. Gang share. Your share, $200. Oh, awesome. And missions. Kill five greys during the escape. Dulse the fields within two and two minutes, 20 seconds. Yeah, that didn't happen. But, oh, well, not to worry. Ah, so we've got another mission. Um, Looks like with Micah. What's this one? Micah needs to speak to you. Blessed and the peacemaker. Pe blessed are the peacemakers. Ooh, very interesting. I think the other mission that was up here earlier, I think will come back later. Um, probably, needs, probably just needs to wait probably an hour or two in game time. But either way, yeah. And we got ourselves a free horse. I don't know whether to sell it or not, but she stay this one's staying put. But anyways, on that note, I am going to be ending this one here. It's going to be very interesting to see what, how it's going to play out now with those two families. Obviously, we're playing both sides of the coins with them, as, long, as well as being, being made a deputy by the Greys themselves. So, they have to have to pop into town um, in between missions and just see if there's any newspapers or anything like that. If not, into Valentine's, see if you can get a newspaper about and okay. see if there's anything about that. So, very... I'm looking forward to this. It's this chapter is really hotting up, and time-wise, bloody hell, 20 to 5 in the morning. Christ, I don't know why it's worth sleeping till noon now. But anyways, on that note, time to end this one here. So if you have enjoyed it, please do make sure to leave that like, and also if you are new to the channel and want to see much more, please do make sure to subscribe, making sure to hit that little bell when you do, and like I always say, every like, comment, and subscription helps my channel so, so much, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.